Welcome to the English Riviera. This is Torquay in Devon. A once very salubrious seaside town which is now not as high heeled as it used to be. There's a beautiful marina over there but a few blocks back it's, um, it's not quite as uh, everything seems. And I'm joined today again by Mr. Backpacker Ben. Aha, uh -huh, welcome to Torquay. Beautiful. Ben uh, said when we were in Cornwall, he said, you need to see a proper seaside town, show what England's really like by the sea. And he said, come up to Torquay. Mate, you'll meet some people here. I mean, I live half an hour from here, so yeah, we're going to meet some interesting characters. I've been here for overnight and um, I spent most of the night awake because of drunken revelers and I've wandered around and uh, it's an interesting place. So yeah, let's wander around like Ben says. Let's meet the characters and show you what Torquay's really like. This is up. This end and the harbour and uh, all along this bit is lovely. Yeah. So many people come here and love it. Some of the town. The top end. Of the yeah, top end. I, I got here last night and I only walked like a few blocks up from the marina and there's, there's loads of homelessness. It's, yeah. it's surprising. Yeah. If you go up through the town to the top, it's even worse. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it well, is quite a problem here at the moment. I think walking down the seafront here, it reminds me of uh, Ibiza Harbour a little bit. This is definitely the poshest part of Torquay. What are you doing? We're making a YouTube video about Torquay. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Just seeing what people think about it and what the locals it's think. Shithole. It's a shithole. What makes you say that? No, nothing. Nothing. Please go away. I will go away. There you go, Ben. It's a shithole. It's a shithole. Yeah. We might as well go home now. <laughs> so I find that the councils, the local authorities, they always look after the front parts of towns, like the parts that tourists always you know, arrive at first. And that's definitely the harbour here, or the marina, whatever they call it here in Torquay. It is, now the sun's out, quite beautiful. Water's quite clear. Beautiful, expensive boats. But this is not the full story of Torquay. And I was... Um, wandering around at the top of town which is just down there around that corner and left it's a very different story so I'm gonna uh, drag Ben now to the <laughs> ghettos of Torquay come on this is a sign of um, seaside grandeur that's um, now crumbling the old pavilion here is closed decades ago this would have been a very uh, you know important central landmark to life here in Torquay but now rusty at the top Closed and crumbling. The pavilion of Torquay, not what it was. So you can identify any British high street by the grim sight of the repetitive Sports Direct, Revolution and Weatherspoons trio. Any high street in the UK, that's pretty much what you get. Anyway, we're going to venture up this road and I'll show you the real side of Torquay, away from the touristy front down there at the marina. So another reason why we're heading up out of uh, the harbour and up the hill here in Torquay is there's a pub that our research, our internet sleuthing has uh, recommended to us. It's called The Castle and it's right at the top of the high street here. And uh, from all the accounts of people I spoke to last night and what I've read online, it's probably one of the wildest pubs we'll ever visit, Ben. I'm keen. It's a bit of a dodgy pub that they're trying to make right, so we're going to go in, get a drink, meet the locals, the characters in there, and uh, see how the castle is. But here, look, this is, this is a good side of talk here, look. Some street markets, Thai food over there. In Torquay it's pretty diabolical at the moment in terms of looking for workers. All businesses are shutting down yeah. and moving away from the area to find other areas and locations to set up their big home depots, you know, especially for car trade. Like the death of the British High Street as it well, like I can death. see like right now, like only half the stores are open. Only half the stores are open. Most of them, the council charge way too much rent for these premises. Yeah. But I mean, it's pretty tough down there. I've been homeless for two years. I've built okay. a bender in the woods, so I live in the woods in a bender, yeah. which is a How far away is that? 
from here yeah, where we're sitting a good then. couple of miles okay. away so I walk in every day yeah and you prefer that because peace and quiet it's safety peace and quiet and safety I'm away from heroin addicts and I know obviously drunks how does the the community in general treat the homeless people here Look, I generally they keep away yeah I, I think because they're scared to come into town or sick of seeing them so this is the start of factory row which is the notorious epicenter for the rougher side of talking and uh, the Hells Angels Club on the corner there which if I hang around for too long I'll probably get in trouble in a way I don't want from filming outside there yeah but there's um, there's a lot of homelessness in this area and then the uh, infamous Castle pub is round the corner on the right so let's go and check it out no site better epitomises bleak Britain than this 70s tower block Disgusting, brutalist architecture. What do you think about Skid Row, Torquay, Ben? Skid Row? Uh, yeah, pretty empty. I guess some people come out later. That is ominous as fuck, mate. Is that blood? I think <laughs> There's blood. There's blood on the walls. Blood splattered on the walls. What a place, mate. Doesn't take long for everything to change, does it? A couple oh, of blocks. Yeah. Are we going to do this? We're going to do it, man. We're going to walk in. Confidence is key. This is the Crown Pub on the corner. Apparently, they've sorted it out, so we're all good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Clearly. They've got a strict landlord sorting it all out. Oh, is this the pub? This is the pub. This is the notorious castle. <laughs> Let's go in for a pint, Ben. Yeah. Are you just going in, are you? Like... I'm just going in. So we are comfortably settled, perched, Ben with a lager, me with a Diet Coke, in the roughest pub in Torquay. <laughs> it's really interesting to go, come from the seafront and literally walk half a mile up the road and you come up and you see that there are problems in this area. And then up here, obviously. Only one problem. Only one problem, what's that? Only one problem. What do you think that is? Out the back. And what's out the back? Factory roll. Yeah. Is that the homelessness Move out there? Move it. Move Factory Row. Move it. Sahara Desert. Into the Sahara. Sahara Desert. You go to the end of it. Yeah. And let them find their way back. Go away. Go away. Cool. My name's Davidoff. Davidoff? Yeah, Davidoff, Davidoff yeah. Bar barman. I've yeah. been yeah. working here for about two and a half years now. Yeah. So you've yeah. seen some change then? I definitely have, mate. Yeah, compared to what it used to be like. You know, it was quite well known as being like a violent pub. Not a lot of people wanted to come here because of that reason. But now with new management, you know, a lot of people have been told to get on their way. Yeah. And it's more controlled, nice and relaxed. It's like a family in here, really. Yeah. You know, the, the atmosphere, the environment, is, is quite nice. It, feel, just... it feels like a really well run pub. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like I say, with new management and that, a lot's changed, a lot's been sorted out. A lot of people that have been struggling with homelessness and yeah. drug addiction and stuff get moved on to that place down there, Factory Row. Um, but yeah. Everyone goes through their struggles, and there everyone needs a bit of help. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that it's situated in town. Yeah. You know, I say that. it does bring a bad name to the pub, but they stay there and people drinking here. So mm. it's two different worlds, just on the side of the, just on the side of the wall. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So. Yeah. Chatting away off camera to Davidoff, and he said that he's a hip hop artist. Yes, I am a hip hop artist, part of the Two Blessed Movement. Be yourself. Why would you want to be anybody else? Many say they're heavy, but there's never any evidence on the rest of me. In my level of venomous intelligence, I'm in my element, projecting clever letters of relevance. No weapons will defend you from my sentences of elegance. Come check us out on the 16th of September. Uh, yeah, let's, let's pop it off, man. Hip hop vibes all to all the time. I'm an aspiring musician on a musical mission. I do this carrying bruises, refusing to be the victim. I'm a trooper, two blessed cruising cut loose from the system. Do it, man. 16th of September here at the castle. Yes, here at the castle. Yeah. Local hip hop, and I'll put the link in the uh, description below of your YouTube channel. Yeah, for your happy days, man. A few of the local boys in that representing hip hop. Come check it out. Peace. Nice. What do you think of the castle, Ben? Best pub in Devon right there. It's one of the best pubs I've been to in a good while. At the top of the hill of the high street in Torquay. Highly recommended. What a place, mate. 
What a paradise. At the back of the best pub in Torquay. <laughs> we could go and live in that caravan. No, thank you. Right next to that pub and go in every day. No, thank you. One last view of the Torquay Marina. My time in Torquay has come to a close. But before I finish the video, I'm going to drive a few miles down the road to Brixham, which has been uh, recommended, if that's the right word, to me and Ben. As, um, as like a fishing village, a fishing town, where we might meet some more real characters. <laughs> So we were just driving over to Brixham from Torquay and Ben got all excited all of a sudden. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and realised that he used to come to this fun fair in Paynton as a child. I did to be fair, yeah. Very nostalgic memories for him. So um, nothing sums up a British family holiday by the sea more than this scene. The old twister, an angry seagull, nasty burgers. Can't beat it! Synonymous with all good British seaside towns, a rotting, rusty pier. Can't beat it. Who wouldn't want to come to the English Riviera? Spend thousands of pounds to bring your family on holiday to uh, come and Relax on this beautiful beach in the rain. Can't beat it. And in the distance, one solitary, topless paddle boarder in the rain. Welcome to Devon in August. Excuse me, mate. Looking good. Thank you. You look amazing. How are you doing, mate? A true local. <laughs> Addy, how are you doing? You enjoying your day? Now? Yes, mate. Love it. What do you mean up, sir? My first time in Brixham. First time here. Good man. Thanks We're so there, good sire. What's your name, mate? Blackheart of Brixham. Blackheart. Good to meet Blackheart. you. Blackheart. Thank Happy you very much. Case. Well, enjoy yourself now. I will, and you. Enjoy. What's that mead? Happy Black Rum, I tell you. Black Rum, of course. The finest For a true pirate. Very fine. <laughs> the best fish and chips in all of Brixham is the one with the black sign. Award winning. Award winning. Traveller's Choice 2021. Stoked for I've just met a real life pirate. Captain Blackheart drinking his black rum by his pirate ship, which is over there. Let's try the famous bricks and fish and chips. It is Britain in 2023, Ben. Ben's used to. Uh, Eaten in second and third world countries, aren't you? Street food. So I'm not the biggest fan of doing food reviews, food content, but I think it's fitting. This is the large fish with regular chips from the Brixham Fish Cafe. Let's taste and rate. These are very inadequate little forks for such a gargantuan meal. Where do you even start? This is where you get the best fish and chips in England. I don't care what you Northerners say in Manchester, you know, even in Scotland, the best places to get fish and chips down here. This is better than Cornish fish and chips. The batter is light and it's just zesty and crunchy and the fish inside is like unreal. I rated the fish and chip shop down in New Lynn pretty good Lewis's but this is um, it's a step up from that. It's one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. Absolutely beautiful. Chips are perfect too. Absolutely perfect. If you're ever in Brixham, in Torquay, it's even worth the 30 minute drive out to this place, Brixham Fish, with a black sign on the left hand side of the harbour. Can't beat it. Well, there you go. That is Torquay and Brixham in Devon. Torquay, a complicated place that isn't as grand as it used to be, but it's, uh, it's got some good people there, and overall, I've enjoyed visiting. Brixham, very touristy. Got some uh, quirky characters like Captain Blackheart, but again, worth visiting. 
Thank you for welcoming me to the uh, Devon coast, Ben. My pleasure, mate. It's been a pleasure. Welcome. And uh, yeah, I think we're just about stuffed from our fish and chips, and it's time to sign out. So until next time, folks, from me and Ben, right on. Bye bye.